The anchorage of the reinforcing steel bar is another important factor in designing reinforced concrete structure. At least 25% of the bottom reinforcement bar and at least 2 units of the bar should be extended to the supports. The bottom reinforcement bar at the end of the support should be anchorage into its support. And there is a required minimum length of anchorage. At the internal support, the bottom steel should be extended into its support at least 10 times bar diameter beyond the support. In order to achieve the continuity and resistance to accidental and seismic force, the splice bar here should be provided across the support with a full anchorage length. The anchorage of the steel bar may not necessarily be always in the straight bar. Bend bar, hook bar, and loop bar may also be applicable. This diagram shows the typical methods of anchorage other than a straight bar. Eurocode provides guidance in terms of the design of anchorage length in clause 8.4.4. The equation is given in equation 8.4. This diagram shows the relevant equation used in order to work out the equation at point 4. There will be a series of factors which will be given in table at point 2. The multiplication of this factor alpha 2, alpha 3 and alpha 5 should be at least greater than 0.7. This factor is multiplied with the basic anchorage length and also the ratio of AS required divided by AS provided. The design anchorage length has to be at least greater than minimum anchorage length. The minimum anchorage length is given by these equations for tension and compression condition. This includes at least 10 times the bar diameter, at least 100 mm, and at least 0.3 or 0.6 times the basic anchorage length. The basic anchorage length is given in clause 8.4.3 in this equation. It is a function of bar diameter times the design bar stress divided by 4 times the ultimate bone stress. The design bar stress is equal to the specified yield strength divided by the factor of safety of steel which is equal to 1.15. The ultimate bone strength is given by clause 8.4.2. This is the equation. Eta 1 represents the bond conditions, whether it is good or poor. When the bond condition is good, Eta 1 is used as 1.0. For the other conditions, 0 0.7 is applied. Eta 2 represents the effect of the bar diameter. When the bar diameter is less than 32, eta 2 is considered as 1.0. When the bar diameter is more than 32 mm, this equation is used. FCTD represents the design strength of the concrete. It is given in clause 3.1.6. It is a function of alpha CT which is equal to 1 and FCTK and also factor of safety for the concrete. The FCTK you can obtain from table 3.1 of Eurocode and the factor of safety of concrete is defined as 1.5. 
Under the normal circumstances, when the bar diameter is less than 32 mm for the straight bar and the concrete strength is 30, the basic anchorage length will be equal to 52 diameter and 36 diameter for the top and bottom bar. The differences is mainly due to the bone conditions, whether it is good or poor. Eurocop 2 provides definition of good bone conditions and poor condition. It is on the basis of the relative density of the concrete during casting. This symbol represents the direction of concreting of the member. These two conditions represent the good bone condition. The reinforcement bar is bent at the angle of 45 to 90 degree and the thickness of the member is less than 250. When the thickness of the member is more than 250 mm, the bottom 250 is considered as a good bone condition while the top surface of the member is considered as poor conditions. When the member height is more than 600 mm, the top 300 mm is considered as poor conditions. Depending on the regions where the reinforcement bar being encouraged, the factor eta 1 can vary. Table 8.2 outlines the value of alpha 1 to alpha 5 coefficient. The coefficient vary in terms of the conditions where it is in tension or compression. In general, the alpha for the compressions are mostly 1.0 except alpha 4. Alpha 5 is not applicable for the compression. Each alpha represents different conditions. Alpha 1 represents the effect of the bar shape. Alpha 2 represents the effect of concrete cover. Alpha 3 to 5 is the confinement effect by the transverse reinforcement, welded transverse bar and also pressure transverse. The equations for these alphas are given here. You will see some unknown here, which include CD, K, Lambda, and Rho. The Lambda is given by this equation. The Sigma AST is the cross-sectional area of the transverse reinforcement along the design anchorage length. The Sigma AS mean is the cross-sectional area of minimum transverse reinforcement. For the beam, it is assumed as 0.25 times AS of the beam and for the slab, it is considered zero. The CD refers to figure 8.3. This represents a straight bar, this is a bend or hook bar, and this is a loop bar. The CD is determined by these equations, referring to this diagram. The value K refers to figure 8.4. It varies from 0 0.1, 0 0.05, and 0, depending on different conditions. The rho represents the transverse pressure in megapascal at the ultimate limit state along LBD.